Every day there is a new AI tool in the market and let's be honest, it's really tough to keep up. I get DMs on daily basis asking which AI model is actually the best, ChatGPT, Claude or Gemini. I mean, these three are big players, so I'm not surprised that you all are asking me questions. So instead of just giving my opinions, I'm going to be a true data scientist and prove the best model with data and actual test. Same prompt, same task with three models. By the end of this video, you will know exactly which tool fits your lifestyle the best. Let me know your predictions in comments on which model you think will win overall. Let's see if you guess it right. To make this fair, I didn't just eyeball it. I built a scoring framework across five real world dimensions, the ones that actually matter for you and me. The five dimensions are reasoning, precision, clarity, context handling, and multimodality. Then I assign weight to each of these five dimensions and then define what these dimensions are actually measuring. These weights create a balanced performance score out of 100. And now to the fun part, let's see how these models performed against this rubric. I actually tested four Four scenarios to mirror how you and I have been using AI at work and outside. Number one is data insights generation. Number two is code reasoning and debugging. Number three is research synthesis. And number four is multi-model creativity. This use case wasn't my initial use case, but honestly, this has become my go-to because I literally created slides for my upcoming AI keynote using Gemini and some of the other tools. So it's been mind blowing. Okay, I guess I'm already getting biased, but but we'll see, just hold on. All right, let's get to our use case one, which is data insights. Let's start with the real world analytics, analyzing 1000 row churn data set. All right, I will admit that in real world, 1000 row data set does not exist. Most of the times it's hundreds of thousands of millions of rows, but no AI tool is there yet. So we're gonna be realistic with AI models and limit our data because we would just wanna see which model is better at analyzing data. Prompt I'm gonna use is find top three trends, two risks and recommend two business actions, include reasoning and confidence. The first one was GPT-5. GPT went straight to the point, clear correlation, clean formatting and confident recommendations. It was fast, structured and perfect for executive decks, though a little light on deeper context. Then came Claude 3.7, Claude felt like a consultant. It built a full report with executive summary, methodology, and timelines. Very methodical, very safe. The trade-off, it's slower and it's a little wordier. Then Gemini 2.5. Gemini took the enterprise route. It caught a surprising trend that others missed. Long-term customers leaving faster than new ones. It tied it to loyalty, risk, and customer lifetime value. It's very data-driven but it almost sounds too corporate-y and almost sounds like me at work. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, the moment of truth, who exactly is the real winner on data analysis? Based on the results that we just saw, GPT-1 on speed and clarity, Claude led in a structure reasoning and Gemini dominated when scale and context matter. And honestly, all three of them did a really, really good job. Personally, I would pick Gemini because that's what I'm used to at work. I currently use Gemini pretty aggressively. <laughs> so, uh, and it also talks in a more corporate tone, which is how I talk at work and my writing style is. So I selfishly would pick Gemini, but let me know what your style is. Would you pick ChatGPT or Claude for data analysis or Gemini? Speaking of AI tools that actually make life easier, specifically mine who has a nine to five and a five to nine creating educational content. One tool that has been amazing at managing it all is PopStore, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. I recently started using PopStore and honestly, it has become my all-in-one creator HQ where it hosts everything I share, I sell, I create in one place. On top, PopStore also has a combo of these incredible AI powered assistants that allow me to scan thousands of your comments and DMs and respond to all relevant ones without burning out. It's like an assistant you always wanted, one that never takes a vacation and helps me make the most of my time in both content creation and socialization. It's called Echo and it's truly a super cool tool that lets me expand my voice and talk to all my engaged followers to build a community that I truly want. So if you're trying to grow your content while balancing everything, check out PopStore. You can set up your own messaging assistant and finally stop spending every night in your DMs. I'm linking PopStore in the description below. Our use case number two is code reasoning and debugging. This one really tests logical reasoning. This is the prompt that I'm gonna use in all three models. Find this Python function that calculates monthly churn rate, but I'm getting an index error on it. 
So the first one is ChatGPT. ChatGPT instantly pinpointed the error, removed the faulty line and explained why it failed. Clean, practical, no fluff. Next, I used this prompt on Claude 3.7. Claude not only fixed the bug, but rewrote docstring and added error handling. It's like having a senior engineer reviewing your code which is awesome. Lastly, I entered this prompt in Gemini 2.5. Gemini's fix works too. It added safeguards for empty data and explained iLock and indexing in depth. It was great for documentation, but not really for speed. So any guesses who is the real winner? ChatGPT was fast at solving problems. Claude was a good mentor and Gemini was more enterprise trainer, like a senior software engineer. So you tell me in the comment, which one you think is the clear winner. Task number three is research synthesis. Now this is a very valid use case for me because a lot of the times I have to read a bunch of paper and then I have to like give my recommendation or learning, share learnings from it. And then actually take that and put it into my work. So I'm really excited for this one. The prompt that I use for this one is summarize these three AI evaluation papers, note limitation and include citation. So in this one, ChatGPT goes first. GPT summarized each paper in crisp conversational language, perfect for quick takeaways and executive briefs. Next, I used this prompt on Claude. Claude produced an academic grade report. Honestly, it was very structured, full citation, and it had the analytical depth, which honestly is great if you are doing some research related work. Lastly, Gemini 2.5, I used the same prompt. Gemini combined depth with connectivity. What I mean by that, it was accurate, it sourced citation. It had a strong understanding of evaluation frameworks. It was a bit dense, but very highly credible in my opinion. So again, they all understood the same question, but process it differently. Before I share the winner from this use case, let me know in comments which one you think is the real clear winner. GPT was pretty clear. Claude prioritized rigor and Gemini prioritized context. Honestly, again, it's on personal preference. If I have to pick one, I would say Claude has done a really good job and I love the report that it wrote because it literally looks like a corporate paper that a human wrote. Our last and final use case, which is on multi-modality. And this honestly was my favorite one. It basically tests creativity and how good a model is at being a multi-model. I uploaded two of my headshots and I said, create a LinkedIn style headshots of me sitting in my YouTube studio. GPT generated a horrible photo <laughs> of me. I think I look deformed a little bit. I think I'm sharing my opinion, but you let me know what you think. Claude doesn't offer image generation. It focuses on text reasoning and analysis, not visual output. So it's out. Gemini 2.5, however, generated a professional headshot that aligned nicely with the prompt. And honestly, it understood the tone, style, context. And it, honestly, it made me look so good. Look at this photo. Before I say anything, you all know who the clear winner is. Obviously, Gemini 2.5 is the clear winner for being a multi-model. And I have generated so far slides from it. I have generated LinkedIn headshots from it. Like I have generated so much from it. It's been an amazing model and I cannot believe all of this is available for free. On that note, would you ever use an AI generated headshot? I mean, does it feel futuristic or a little weird? I don't know, let me know in comments. Okay, now that we have tested all the four models, let's actually go a little bit deeper into these models to understand why they act a certain way. GPT-5 by OpenAI is a strategic journalist. It can take up to 400,000 tokens, great for long reasoning chains and deeply integrated with Microsoft tools. It's flexible, equally good at analysis coding. Claude 3.7 by Anthropic, it's a structured thinker. It's built for accuracy, transparency, and safe reasoning, ideally for compliance heavy or research workflows. A lot of my friends who use Claude have also said that it talks like a human uh, compared to other models. So let me know if you agree with that. Lastly, Gemini 2.5 is a multi-model powerhouse. It handles 1 million tokens, integrates across Docs, Sheets, and Gmail. And as we just saw, it generates beautiful AI shots of humans, which is great. So all that being said, who is actually the real winner here? Drum roll. After each test, I assigned a score and based on our scoring model and rubric we used, GPT wins in reasoning and versatility. It's a generalist that does it all. Claude wins in precision and Gemini dominates in multi-model collaboration. And one dimension that we didn't test at all in this video is how well these tools integrate into like our existing tools, such as docs, 
emails and whatnot. That's a separate video altogether. And let me know if you want me to do that next. Okay, with that, which tool is best for you? Let's answer that. At this point, it's not about which AI is best. It's about which one thinks like you do. Which one fits your lifestyle? If your day revolves around precision reporting, Claude is your steady partner. If you balance logic with creativity, GPT fits right in. And if you work across visual slides and sheets, Gemini feels just like at home. Each has its own personality and its own strengths. I call GPT my strategist, Claude my analyst, and Gemini my creative collaborator. Also remember the right AI isn't the smartest one. It's the one that makes you smarter. I would love to know which model you use the most and why and which video I should cover next. With that, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Task number three is research synthesis. <laughs> I can't say the word. ChatGPT was fast problem solver. <laughs> number three is research sensitive. <laughs> why can't I say it?